Well, unfortunately, there is now a new danger churning right now in the Atlantic. This is Hurricane Maria. She is headed towards some of the very islands that were hit hard by Hurricane Irma. And, Sean, that's what's so tough to see. Yeah. They've barely had a chance to recover in some of those well, islands. Well, unfortunately, uh, the forecast is for Maria to intensify, okay. in fact, rapidly over the next 24 hours to right. a major category three, four hurricane here. Wow. And uh, you see Antigua and Barbuda, that was two islands that were decimated by Irma. Uh, Guadalupe looks to be in the line of fire with the latest official forecast taking it over those islands here. Again, in the next 24 hours, if the forecast holds, subject to change, but perhaps a landfall of a Category 4 hurricane over Puerto Rico, something that we'll monitor closely. And by the weekend, uh, approaching the southeastern U.S. to be determined exactly uh, when and if it will turn. Now, here's what's going on locally. We're starting to see some additional showers flaring up, some good news. Uh, you know the drill. It's been extremely dry, so any rain we can get, we'll certainly take it. Uh, the winters today, over the last 12 hours to the west, some spots had about a quick half inch in an area that's in abnormally dry conditions on that drought monitor index. At this hour, 72, the high 89 on Sunday, and we are going to have temperatures regularly this week running well above the average high of 77. Here's the deal for tonight. Spotty showers and rumbles of thunder, some areas of fog early in the morning. Doesn't mean it's going to storm or rain all day long, but it's fair game from the time you wake up until the time you go to bed on Monday. Here's future track 13, widely scattered in nature, a little more cloud cover, so that might limit our warmth a little bit, though we are going to forecast a high of 84 degrees. We look ahead to what's going to be happening here late weekend. Uh, we're going to be in this hot regime and then we'll be watching what's going on down to the southeast. At this point in time, our forecast next weekend is very similar to what we just had. That means temperatures, as we look ahead to the tailgate next Sunday, we're going to be talking about highs pushing almost 90 degrees. Air conditioners will be working overtime in central Indiana this week ahead. Scattered storm chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then very summerish, despite the fact that uh, Friday will be the beginning of autumn in central Indiana. It is going to be more of a summer feel here heading into next weekend.